for that jazz. <laughs> Has to. <laughs> I no longer feel if it's in gear or not. He does this all the time. <laughs> it's a sport sound. It's like backfire. <laughs> well, I traveled all the way to Romania to drive the Dacia, but while I'm here, I might, uh, might look at the heaviest building in the entire world, built by the legendary Ceausescu. And I have to say, he has great taste in buildings. This is the equivalent of a Bugatti that's uh, in stone and gold. I, I, I feel why he built this house. We were late uh, um, previously in the day. We were at this smaller house, Ugh. and uh, I do understand when you're living in that small house that you really need you really need the space. I think I read it has like a 1,300 rooms, which is just immense, crazy. And now it's actually the Parliament of Romania. It's the biggest parliament, the second biggest uh, government building in the world and it's also the heaviest building in the world. And I do understand why it is the heaviest building in the world. Imagine the electro electricity bill in this place. And of course we have the Dacia. This beautiful, beautiful Romanian building. Then we have this beautiful Romanian car, look at this. The beautiful Dacia, Dacia, what's the name of this hunk of shit? Dacia, I mean not hunk of shit, beautiful car. Ah, oh, Lugan. Ah, it's also a Lugan, okay. And this is the sedan model. Here we got another Dacia, two Dacia beside each other. Well, the plan was to review this car, but sadly this car was uh, a little fender bender, so this one is not going to be reviewed, sadly. Damage Dacia. Look at this, this car is crashed, but it still works somehow. I don't know how. Look at that. It still works. Incredible. Romanian quality at its best. So, sadly, that car was in a fender bender. Uh, after that little incident, we went to the police station. And then we were there for like maybe an hour. Waiting in line for 55 minutes and the police took like five minutes Then we were on, on the way to the rental car company and they gave me a brand new Dacia Which I later reviewed but the fun part is when I went to the airport for the first time to when I went to, when I got to Romania I went to the six desk and I say okay your car is an Opel Corsa and I said is it possible to get a Dacia and the guy said like this Dacia I, I can check sir so he called up the guy that is in the parking lot or whatever that hands out the car and he called him, yeah we have a customer, he wants a Dacia and he went, yeah we have Dachas, but why does he want a Dacia? And the guy looked as, just as questionable, just like, I guess the guy wants to test it, I don't know. They looked like me like I was crazy for wanting the Dacia. But anyways, the Romanian adventure continues. Uh, with going to uh, the Romanian's best car collection. It's actually a very, very, very good car collection. It's actually one of the best in the world. On to a former tennis player and a banker. I don't remember his name. You can see it in the video. And uh, yeah, that's where the story continues. I'm sitting on my AMG engine. If people are wondering, the AMG is still here. More videos of that car is coming. So don't worry, it is still there. The only thing that to complain is that the brake pads 
are totally totally worn out but another video will be coming on that on replacing the pads on this beautiful car and I got brand new rear discs right there that will also be replaced that video will be coming so right now sadly for another week at least this car is only in the garage chilling and I actually made a special connector for the CTEC which is really handy Vänster ska vi parkera från honom, mm. eller till höger? Vänster. Ja, ditt igen. Så, välkomna till Romanian Car Adventure med Autocarnerd. Och vi är faktiskt på den största privata kollektionen av kar här i Romania. And the guy's name was Eon something. And he has great taste in cars because he has an SL55 AMG. CLS. CLS 55. This man has great, great taste like in cars. Car. But look, his front bumper is perfect. Unlike mine. He has red leather seats still in it. <coughs> but he also had the CL CL55. He had this first unique GTM car and then he had a seal 500 this is a legend e60 AMG also known as the hammer which is a very 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 real car a beautiful beautiful car here is uh, Shafchescu's car the s500 grocer this, let's see who's the owner of this car Ceausescu also used it. Have a Spresso Roman actor, Jack Nicholson. Computer hydraulic system from the windows. Uh, everything is hydraulic on it, even the windows and everything. Which is really unique. 11,000 kilometers. I wonder who owned this car. God, I have some really, really special cars here. A G. Then I have a Beetle. Why do they have a Beetle? The G650. Ah, uh, this one is the. Uh, this, this is this is a Maybach V12 G wagon. How cool isn't that? some American cars which I really don't care anything about I know this one the OGT 500 which is really cool oh back in the future car the DeLorean that's a cool car a Saab even look at that Saab 9 whatever that was called 93 Here we got some special Italian cars. Oh, this one is beautiful. This is a Citroen DS, also known as oh, Citroen SM, sorry, which is uh, the coupe version, which is very rare. It also has probably one of the best suspensions in the world. Here we got a 2CV, and look at this, a 1908 Renault with leather seats. Oh, look at this. I am dying. The 16M Scuderia. This one is so beautiful. 550 Marinello. For only 5300 miles, which is like nothing. An older Ferrari. Got a Dino. This one also quite cool. Oh, Lanza Integrale. How can you not love these things? Beautiful cars. Probably the ugliest Lambo I ever made. Then we have a Diablo. I've never seen one of these in person. Oh, 
only a thousand kilometers from the car. All Testarossa in like perfect condition. He has a California, don't ask me why. And an F12, which I absolutely love. With a white or red interior, also very, very rare. Can we get done, Auto nulla nitinia. Oh my god. This is a Bugatti. I've never ever seen one of these in person. Type 57. Like this car is like a, a couple of million euros. It's very, very weird. Oh, it's so beautiful. Actually, if you look at the roof, it's a sunroof. It's really, really rare. And a bunch of American cars. Which we're just gonna scroll by. This one's quite cool, 1966 Mustang. This is a very tuned out Mustang. First generation uh, Corvette. This is very cool. This is Cobra. I don't know if it's original or it's a Cobra. It's a replica. Or it's 200. I mean, these things are a bunch of fun to drive. The Rally Ford from the 80s. Really cool. More Mustangs. This one I don't know. Cord. Oh, Duesenberg. That's big. Remember there? Here's something I never thought I would see, a real, real Duesenberg. I've been, always been a fan of Duesenbergs, and this one is actually a very special one. It's a 19, 1931, a 30, a Duesenberg, and its coachwork uh, was made by M. Murphy Coachworks. Um, and this one is in total original condition, or restored, of course. It's only done 3,600 kilometers in its entire life. But it's, it's art. It's such a beautiful car. Also uh, won Best New Show uh, in Romania for some car in a car content. And it's so beautiful. Very, very unique car. This thing is also very cool. A Charger 1969. A Viper. Yes. Like a shit. Also Cadillacs. I think this looks really cool. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Packard. Also very cool. Not like a Duesenberg, but still, very cool. There's so many old cars here, Chrysler, a bunch of old motorcycles, a Chrysler 50 series. This thing looks like a steam car. 
1929 is um, it's a fire truck. And a bunch of motorcycles. Aston Martins, Morgan, I love Morgans, also you don't see a lot of them on the roads, especially the Aero 8, very cool combo, and then we have the voice voice section, beautiful Bentley, this is an engine oh, It's a Rolls Royce wagon. That's something I never saw, I would say. What the hell is the story behind this car? Oh, it's not the official body car. And then he has a painting of his red rose rose, I guess. Uh -huh. Look at the colors of these things. Very cool. How much? No, it's 66,000. Oh, that's a lot. 43,000 is a lot, right? Oh, I seen a 40 as well. A very, very special Mercedes Benz. A 540k. Special case is a little bit more rare, but this thing is still very, very beautiful. And then we have the legendary F40. Look at that. One of the best forests ever made. And I love how you can see the carbon weave through the paintwork. It's speciale. A La Ferrari. I've seen that before. A TDF. It's also a very very cool car. Four GT. Don't think so. Don't see a lot. And we have the legendary Sterling Moss SLR McLaren, which has the similar brakes as my car, which is quite cool. GT2 RS. pack edition with his own name on the seats which is quite funny this did look like a 911 r and then next to it a Porsche 918 oh it's a very rare car it's the SLR McLaren uh, it's basically the same engine as we have and the same brakes but everything else is different. And the price is good. Well. It's like 2 million, and two million euros. So Sterling Moss was a very famous race car driver. Very cool. Porsche 918, always love those things. But I would rather have that LaFerrari over there. 
And then we have this beautiful CLS 55 AMG, which is probably the best car in this entire collection. This thing is also something I've never seen before. It's a 959, which was the competitor to the F40 back in the days. But also, uh, never seen one in real life. It just looks like a 911, it doesn't look that special. But it's a very, very legendary car. And then, of course, you have the, the newest Maybach. A 650 and I love the interior of these things such a beautiful interior and it has a depreciation of probably like 90 percent yeah there are speakers down there as well Let's go. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, you will always find a BMW 36 going sideways. This guy is fucking crazy, man. I had a new Dutch and we actually built up the old And uh, finally, a local Duke at a special. Or Connect. man best car ever actually it doesn't matter anywhere in the world they've always found an e36 sideways <laughs> this is for the first time ever proof of walking in Romania so we parked the Dacia walking got some dogs barking my wife throwing trash it's beautiful I'm setting new trends on YouTube. Uh, I don't make proof of cars anymore. I make proof of walking in different scenarios. No. It's my new thing. Thank you. Fifty kilograms. Hmm. Yep, it holds. <laughs> it's inspected to 2020. Nice. This is the Kung Fu door. I mean, this door is crazy. Wait for it. Wait, wait. This is the fastest door elevator ever. Look at this. Wait for it. Wait. It's... And it hits really hard. We're going home to Mamai. 
going to do a prove of uh, giving her. Oh! Oh! She's fat? Really? She might think I'm crazy because I have a camera on my head. Vad ska vi med dig? Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah. Ah. Yeah, this is how you. This is how you do. You give them. Uh, you give them food and they are happy. They didn't even notice I have a camera on my face, anyways. Oh my god! Thank you for watching uh, Romanian. Walking around poof video. Have a nice day! Oh.